Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I get a lot of questions from viewers out there that are always asking me about how to deal with pressured body of water. You know, we've seen over the last couple of years a dramatic increase in the numbers of anglers that are out on the water, whether that's from shore, in a boat, in a kayak, there are there are just a lot more anglers on the water, and it's making the fish much more accustomed to our pressure, making the fish harder to catch. So having some of those secret honey holes to yourself is just not something you can have anymore because there's 30 other boats that are fishing the same area. I don't care what lake you're fishing. It seems like across the country, there's just a lot more fishing pressure. So I've got for you guys today three common mistakes that I think a lot of anglers make when fishing heavily pressured water. And if you can avoid making these mistakes, you're going to catch more fish. Without a doubt, you're going to have a more productive day on the water. So let's get into these three common mistakes that anglers are making. The first mistake that most anglers make is they fish the most obvious looking structure in the lake. Meaning if you've got a long point that runs out into the lake, the most obvious looking point, I can assure you, you are not the first angler to have fished that that day. In fact, you probably have to get in line in order to fish it. Maybe there's a beautiful looking spawning cove that's got docks and lay down trees. You're probably not the first boat to go through there. So the the biggest issue people make when fishing pressured lakes is they fish the most obvious structure. You want to get away from some of that. Yes, there's going to be fish that are using some of those pieces of cover in that structure, but the reality is they're also going to be some of the least aggressive fish because they've seen bait after bait after bait. You'd be much better off going and looking to fish some less obvious point, or maybe you've got a much more subtle hump, or maybe you've got a, a pocket with only one or two laydown trees versus a whole pile of laydown trees. The key here is you have to train yourself to not want to go fish the most obvious structure. So look at your maps and point out those are the most obvious looking pieces and avoid them. Do not go fish it because I can assure you there are a pile of other anglers that have just gone and fished those objects. The second biggest issue that I see a lot of anglers make when fishing pressured lakes is they want to continue to throw their favorite baits. And in most of those instances, it's a power fishing bait, meaning they still want to go down the bank throwing a vibrating jig, or maybe they want to throw giant crankbaits. And yes, you're going to catch some fish using those, but generally speaking, on a heavily pressured body of water, you'd be much better off just sticking with your finesse presentations and smaller baits in general. Maybe it means a crankbait still, but instead of throwing a big 6XD, you're going to be throwing a much smaller crankbait. Uh, the same goes for dragging jigs around. Instead of throwing a big mop jig style bait on the bottom, maybe you want to downside and go with a much smaller finesse style jig. The point here is, on pressured bodies of water, you're going to catch more fish with finesse presentations versus your power fishing presentations. Unless you've got the most ideal conditions, maybe before a front rolls through or maybe it's your low light periods of the day, you're going to catch more on a finesse presentation. So even if you don't like throwing your, your light line and your spinning gear, you need to recognize if you want to catch more fish, the odds will be increased by going by downsizing and going with smaller gear. The third thing that most anglers don't do on the water, and this is something that isn't necessarily just for pressured body of water. This is in fishing in general. I don't believe most anglers cover enough water. Most anglers choose to camp out on a spot that they feel very comfortable fishing, but the reality is you're going to catch more fish if you can come in contact with more aggressive fish throughout the day. And the best way to do that is to cover a lot of water. Now, I know what I just said before is you want to use more finesse presentations. Well, I agree. I agree 100% with that. You don't necessarily want to just pull up and wing a fast moving power bait. You want to hit a lot of spots. That's really what it comes down to. You still throw your finesse gear, but you hit as many locations as possible. And the more water you can cover, the more likely it is that you're going to come in contact with aggressive fish. 
And I don't care what anyone says, the easiest fish to catch are the ones that are aggressively feeding. They will bite almost anything. So the more of those that you can come in contact with throughout the day means the more you're going to catch. And on a heavily pressured body of water, those fish still have to eat. It's not like they don't eat at all. They still have very specific feeding windows. And the more of those fish you can come in contact with, the more you're going to catch on these pressured bodies of water. So in my opinion, you want to keep moving. You want to downsize your baits and do not fish the obvious stuff. Those three things, if you follow that while you're on the water, you will catch more fish on pressured bodies of water. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this to be helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.